I'm not going to lie. I don't remember if what I did last year, but um, I'm going to go with it again. If it was this from last year, I'm actually thankful for all of the free services that mm-hmm. offer, you know, video chat, whether it be zoom or teams or Skype or FaceTime. I can't tell you how many times over the last year we have used one of those services or many of those services in some way, shape or form to bring people together. Um, I was talking to people, uh, friends today and they said, yeah, there's, there's some people that are still concerned or, you know, elderly that, you know, high risk that that's how they're, while some of their family may be getting together, um, that's how they're keeping up with everyone else. And I feel like there would be nothing worse than, kind of being alone or even with just not being able to see the entire extended family, maybe not in the same room. Um, But I'll tell you, like last year for Christmas, we did, we'd usually do a big family gathering. Everyone comes to Pittsburgh from all over um, Detroit, Baltimore, um, Hartford, Connecticut, Mm -hmm. uh, Tennessee. So we have, we have pretty distant distance, between us and everyone usually comes to Pittsburgh. They, nobody, nobody actually made that trek last year, but everyone got out a laptop, plugged it into a TV, um, either used the webcam on the laptop or plugged in an external webcam. And it really brought kind of a feeling of togetherness, Mm -hmm. even though the distance was there. Um, And it was pretty funny too, because even in our house, like people might be in different rooms, but we had like an iPad in one room, a laptop in another room. Christopher was on all day on his iPad. Um, <clears throat> and some of these, I mean, uh, <clears throat> you don't need a lot of high tech for this. Um, you could pull out an, an old an old machine room and load Linux on it or, or an old tablet or phone um, and run just fine. So Mm-hmm. I'm I'm thankful for all this tech and it's not it's not high cost tech either, right? A couple hours on Zoom is free. Mm-hmm. Um, Teams is free, Skype's free. You may have to reconnect on occasion, but there's there's not a, a high cost or barrier to entry. Um, and it'll run on pretty much any device you have, even if it's even if you just want to use it on the phone. I, I think I'm along with that. On the business side and, and everything, like I, I, I think this has opened up um, because everybody wants to stream now. And uh, thankfully I'm in a streaming business, right? Mm -hmm. Be it the MMA stuff we're doing, the wrestling, or even just, uh, you know, Hey, we want to do hybrid conferences and things like that. Like there's still, you know, calls coming in for events like that, even as far in on, on as we are with COVID and everything. Right. Um, So I, you know, I think that has opened it up to uh for people to be flexible it, for me i'm thankful to be in in kind of the right place with the right skill set at the right time for those kinds of things um to to help people along there i mean i don't know how how many times i fielded uh whether questions or gotten thrown hey can you help us with this thing um from some of my long-standing clients uh over the last year and that's been really really nice to be you know, be able to be there for, for people to kind of help them through uh, these these kinds of situations like that, right? Um, so it really, it really has. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for uh, being, you know, we were already looking at these kinds of things and, and, and working in these, you know, be it with this show or, or what we were doing with other clients beforehand. So it just became, okay, now we get to super apply this in a lot of different ways. And it really kind of exploded that kind of idea. And I think, I think it's going to make everybody more flexible in the future right because they just like oh you know it's, a lot of people haven't been shoved over the edge of doing this uh you know <laughs> streaming presenting uh, uh 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 the holidays you know kind of thing and 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 really the people that were kind of lagging behind i think got shoved into it for better or for worse but now they have the experience and maybe they're less afraid of it right it's the it's the you got you got you got over the first hill in the in the roller coaster and it really is not a bad ride right mm-hmm so I think there's still I, I, I do feel I and I'd be interested in your opinion on it. They I feel like 
getting over the hump to going virtual mm-hmm. wasn't wasn't as bad as a lot of people thought. No, no. Where I think the struggle is going to be is like the the hybrid. Yeah. Half the people are here. Half the people are wherever they're at, mm-hmm. and bridging and making everyone feel like they're at parity or you know giving that same experience and and i've I've heard alex lindsay talks talk about it you can give a really good experience if everyone's virtual you can give a really good experience when everyone's in person Mm -hmm. but that hybrid is the the tough nut to crack and usually it's even for the presenters you end up catering to one side. Not both. Yeah, it leans one to the uh, one or the other. I mean, we've seen well, and even you know, I've listened to those conversations too uh, with Alex Lindsay, and then done these events where somebody, yeah, you know what the worst thing when you're doing an event, Chilla, is when the microphone isn't needed for the people in the bill in the room because it's a small conference room and you have like ten people, twenty people because of COVID. Um, but then like the person's presenting is like, do I really need this microphone? And you're like, yes, we are streaming to people at home. Use the <laughs> microphone or you are not talking to half the audience. <laughs> well, that's that. It, we, I even saw that not just in our school district, but talking to a couple other teachers, mm-hmm. it was really hard for them in the hybrid classrooms to get used to having half the class at home, half the class in person. And, you know, teachers tend to, like, walk up and down the ailes. Or, right. right. You know, <laughs> to be in it, the, right? There's the, yeah. Like, what's the equivalent? And then you walk up and down the aisle, and you're not paying attention to the Zoom room on the monitor in the front, right? Well, and they can't hear you because there's it's not like a wireless lav mic. Yeah, it's, yeah. There, there's, like, a speaker box-type device sitting at the front of the classroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, that's, I mean, every, again, we talk about being thrust into it, you know, teachers especially, right? And, and and a lot of these school districts aren't getting the top, you know, good presentation systems. Like half of them probably just have a laptop and make it go. Hope, yeah, hope it works. I, it, I feel like you can do a lot with like a, a laptop and a, even if you gave them a wireless tablet type device with some kind of headset. But then, you could, is, then is that school infrastructure good enough to have how many odd Zoom rooms happening on that network in a school? Well, that and the the where I think it fell when I where I think it fell apart is I think a lot of people they got the tech, they didn't get the training, nope. and I really feel for those for those entities that did get the tech Mm -hmm. and do have the infrastructure, but then like they call, they were cobbling together their own way of doing it and Mm -hmm. kind of swapping horror stories and solutions in the coffee uh, around the, the coffee maker, right. To, to help each other. That's that's where I, that's where I feel like they could have even today in, 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 the enterprise or corporations they, they really had to reinvent the wheel that was already invented yeah yeah and yep. that's unfortunate so a lot of time was probably wasted on that um also we have oh that's what that's in the shot over there isn't it?